You guys, there's a ghost in the house, I swear. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Crackers, and I'm back here in the house with uninvited guests, and I swear it's a ghost. I'm telling you right now, I'm hiding on the windowsill in the office. <laughs> Actually, I was just checking things out. But, you know, I'm convinced there's something weird going on in this house. Okay, the pictures are still up, but the cupboard door is open again. And if you can see this, this is my TV. I bought it to make sure that it was actually going to fit in the space above the cabinet. And I moved it so that I could keep on working. I hung it on this wall, started doing some stuff, turn around, look where it is now. Something is knocking pictures off the wall in this place. It is pretty creepy. Anyway, guys, I'm back here. Um, I'm probably going to record a couple back-to-back -back episodes, so I may not see your comments after this video until uh, a couple in. And I might be away for a little bit, like a few days, so there might be a lapse in videos. Anyway, I'm liking this wall a lot. I really like it from the office. You guys are going to think I'm crazy, though, because I think I'm going to change it. <laughs> I just, I love it from in here. And this is gonna, it's gonna totally change the inside look because I really like the way this looks. But I'm not crazy about it from this side. And I was looking at this. This thing is perfectly centered between um, these spots. And if I put two of them side by side, that might look pretty cool. And then on each side, I might build out this wall and sort of frame it off with like another material. I'll probably just paint the top. But I really want to see what that looks like. It's going to take a lot of work and I won't drag you guys through it, but I'm going to do it and then I'll bring you guys back and we'll have a look at it. All right, guys, I did it. I changed the whole wall. Don't think I'm crazy. I just think it looks better from the side. So I put these two shelves in. I did the exact same thing. The only thing I have to do now is just build out these pillars a little bit. And then I thought maybe we could do like a different texture on these pillars and just paint maybe the inside of it. That's what I'm thinking at this point. I think this looks really, really good. It opens it up quite a bit more, a lot less uh, privacy in the office. And I'm kind of thinking we don't really even need a door here. So I might even take this out and just kind of make sort of a an archway in there because it's not like there's any privacy in there anyway. So. Anyway, that's kind of my idea. I haven't filled these in yet because I'm not exactly sure what color I want to do. I know Sirius said the a white cabinet would probably pop a little bit more. It probably would. It probably would. Um, but I'm going to just kind of continue on in the living room and we'll see how it all blends together. So, all right. Um, so we are moving on. Actually, I'm going to grab this TV that somebody knocked on the wall, off the wall. And I'm going to put it up here because that's where it is going to go. And I'm going to make sure it's not upside down this time. But that's kind of what I was thinking is have the TV up there. We'll have a, you know, obviously a couch over here. And as far as color in here, what are we going to do? Let's just move this picture because we're going to paint in here soon. So I'll just throw it in here for now. Um, okay. So, um, you know what, let's look at couches. Let's look at couches and then we'll decide what color we need to do. I wonder, I wanna use an L couch in here for some reason. You know what I wanna do? I wanna do a house, sorry, I'm getting distracted, squirrel. Um, I wanna do a red, black, and white house and maybe use this cow couch eventually. Well, they have this, that's sort of an L couch. I think I want leather in here. Does this come in different colors? Oh, it comes in navy. Is that not a leather coach? Oh, I guess it's not. Okay, I want to check out this one. Oh, they have blue leather. That might be kind of fun to try and make work. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, this is about the blue, right? So, and then we could kind of maybe paint with a more neutral color. Is it going to fit in here, though, is the problem. Okay, there. Okay, so it can go that far. Can it move over? No. So it has to go there. Will it fit there? Wait, what kind of, okay, black? Well, you could do gray too. No, I want black. Well, I wish I could just tuck it in there a little bit more, but the radiator, of course. You know what, it just fits. You know, I kind of like it. I don't know that I like it with these chairs, but those chairs can go. 
Everything's haunted in here anyway. I don't know if I want to keep any of the old stuff. That's kind of a fun color. Definitely have to keep the walls a neutral color now. So that means that we're going to be left with like kind of a gray. I was playing around with yellow. Um, thinking that maybe I would do yellow in here. But yellow and blue, that's going to be quite bright. Um, I could always do yellow in the kitchen, just a little further away. But this yellow is really quite bright. Let's just have a look and see what it looks like behind. Ooh, that's really bright. I might want to do yellow in here, though. You know, that's a nice color. Is that as dark as it gets? That actually is really quite nice. I don't think I want yellow in the living room. Let's just see what this one looks like. That might be what we do. We might paint up to here with yellow, and then I don't know what color cabinets we're going to end up with. I really like to go with grays, I think. So you know what? I have some dark gray paint, I think, still left over here. I don't want to paint any more blue. Let's paint up this room gray and see how it looks. All right, guys, I painted this gray. I'm kind of liking this. I think I want to keep this blue leather. It's a little bit off as far as blues, but kind of blends with all the blues in the house, I think. Like, you know, it goes with the theme anyway. Um, I'm going to close this cabinet again. Crazy ghost, stay away. Okay, so this is gray, 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 gray. So now we gotta figure out what to put on here. And I'm trying to think, should I do the entry in gray? Should I do the entry in yellow? I'm not sure yet. So I just painted back there gray. So now if we wanted to do wall panels, well, we're not gonna put, I mean, we could do wood panels, but we don't really have a lot of wood in here. We could do brick. That would kind of, I guess, bring a little bit of the outside in. I'm not sure how that would look. I mean, let's just buy it and have a look. You never know. What else could we do? Wall tiles. We could maybe tile it. Is there anything that looks sort of rockish? We could do, like, these kind of things. At least they kind of have a 3D kind of look. I know they say white, but they look kind of gray, so they might blend with the gray wall. Let's, let's try it. You know, if it was up to me, I would do a dark wood, but they don't have that option. Because then I would pick a wood that sort of matched the doors, and I think that would look really nice. But we got to work with what we got. You know, that's kind of different. I don't mind that. Let's see what this looks like. But like I said, we just don't have a lot of browns. Now, would I do both sides? What would that... Because this, this wall is not symmetrical now. It's kind of driving me crazy. It's not bad, but like I just kind of rearranged the pictures sort of the best I could. I kind of liked the look on the inside before in the office a little bit better, but it's not bad. Like it's very similar. But yeah, if I did this tile, that would look weird. So we got to end it there, unfortunately. So I'm wondering if maybe I should paint this the cyan. That might look a little better because right now this looks out of place. I'm going to do that really quick. I mean, I suppose it's not bad. Well, it's just throwing me. This brown is throwing me. I don't think I like the brown. I think, if anything, I'm going to do the white. So, hmm, maybe I'll just leave the painting for the time being. Yeah, you know, I kind of like that, maybe this look. I wish they had, like, a darker gray, but, like I said, they have this one that's a little bit grayer. What do I use? Because I think... I don't think I like the, 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 the stone. And this might just look too kitchen-y. You know what I mean? And it's not really that much different in color than... You know, actually, I don't mind that. Oh, gosh. I need a second opinion here, guys. Let's just, let's just look at them for a bit. I'm going to sell this one because I definitely don't like that. And... Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, so let's move these paints. Actually, no, I'll hang on to this one. I'll move it over here. I'll sell the other one. Get it out of the way. Let's see what kind of furniture we can put in here along with this couch. You guys are so limited as far as coffee tables. My goodness. Like, this is really the only color that could possibly... 
you know, like it, it doesn't look too bad. It's a nice shape to fit in here. Sort of grayish, even though it's considered dark. Um, the only other one, like, oh, that's the same one. That's this one. The darkest this gets is the dark cherry. So not, not really a great color for in here. I mean, it's not bad. Maybe I should put the floor in first and then see what goes. And other than that, there's this one that I can get in dark brown. But, I mean, I guess we could put like maybe two together. It just seems so small for this space. See, the reason why I wanted to put the two shelves in here is because originally I wanted to have one in the middle. And then I thought it kind of cut, it could be kind of built in, act as a wall. And then I'd put bookshelves on either side, but then I thought that's a lot of shelves. I'm gonna have bookshelf and then this shelf and then that shelf. And I'm like, I was sort of thinking maybe that would look a little bit weird, especially when it wasn't all built in. So that's why I decided to go like this. So hopefully you guys like it. Um, let's do floor. Let's see what's going on with this floor. And then maybe that will, uh, where is it? Floor panels, this one. Because I think we're going to use the same flooring throughout because it just seems to make sense anyway. Whoa, gosh, it looks so weird when you first put it down. Am I going to change? Well, let's just work with this for now. Okay, so now that we have this in here, I could always change that coat to the gray accents too. I wish I could get this. Well, no, that might look weird. Because like this paneling isn't very dark and this one's even lighter. I just don't think that the brown will look good. What does the other one look like? This one's considered dark. I mean, we could try it, just see what it looks like. I mean, I suppose it's not bad. Oh, it just drives me crazy because I want this to be a dark, dark brown and I think it would look so nice. Hmm, I gotta think on that, I really do. I just, I'm feeling a little bit like this room looks so big now. <laughs> I have nothing to put. I mean, I'd have to put, move the table over, maybe put some chairs or something. Is there stuff that matches with this set? Well, guys, you know, I'm, I'm rethinking this blue sofa. There's just really nothing else that goes with it. And I'm sort of not feeling that blue color. And I'm thinking maybe the black would look nice with the shelves. So I might do that, and then I could put one against the radiator that way, because otherwise this wall's gonna be, the shape of the sofa just really is, it's just kind of taking up the whole room, and you can't really add anything else with it. So I think I might switch it. Let's see. So I could put a couple chairs in with it now. You know, that might be better. Let's just move this over a bit. Let's center it under this window if we can. All, this, all of its stickiness. Can we do it? Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I think I might like that. It's just, <laughs> that one looks so dark in here with the gray walls. So I'm almost thinking I should do a blue in here. Oh my gosh. This is hard. Um, okay, let's see what we have here. Can we fit like a chair in here? I mean, we could do something like that. I wish I had kind of a love seat to go with this. That would be, that would be so great, but they don't. You know what I'm, I, although I wish this was darker, I kind of do like the wood look over the tile, but things are starting to look a little bit dark in here. Of course I did just take down the lights too. Like if we were to add, well, we could, we could just add like a carpet and maybe that would Break things up a bit. Let's see what kind of lights I can put up here. In here, I'm almost thinking, like, I could put this one. Ooh, they have black, do they? But I'm, I'm almost thinking halogens might be good in here. These are so hard to line up. I have no idea if those are in the same line. Actually, they don't look too bad. Okay, yeah, let's add some lights and then we can kind of see if this is all going to be too dark or... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work with this. I, I don't know. It's this gray wall, I think. Let's put this wood paneling up just so we can have a really good idea of what this is going to look like if we use the wood. 
can always go back to the tile. I do like the wood look, I do. But then what would I do here? I mean, we could really fill up this living room and put another sofa. Because I could put um, another sofa on this side. Maybe a bit much. I could get away with maybe a chair too. And then put the table up sort of against it. That way you can still get to the door. That might be all right. I might just move this table over a bit. Because I think I do want to use this table. Okay, that's sort of centered. If it's going to work, it'll work like that. Okay. Hmm. Guys, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I painted up there yellow. Because I thought maybe... What if we get rid of some of the blue and like put some yellow in here so that it sort of blends with the kitchen eventually? Just a thought to kind of lighten things up. Because I just don't know what other color I would do these walls. I mean, I suppose I could take the yellow all throughout, but... Oops, this is... I went back and I changed the, the inside of that to the cyan to match the office. So... I don't know. Gosh, this is so hard. Maybe I should just move on to the kitchen and see how it all blends. Yeah, just like I like this couch. I don't mind this setup. Backed onto the table, I think is fine. Still not sure about the chair colors, but we'll see how it all comes together when we do the kitchen. Just not sure. Like the gray with the black, it just seemed like a lot of color. So I'm just thinking, like, should I change those? couches to like white but then are they gonna just stand out because these cabinets are black <laughs> oh god this is so hard to like make it all work um let me think about this a bit guys i want to see what other colors we can actually do all right guys i decided i <laughs> changed the color entirely i went with the green i wanted to do the kitchen kind of a yellow but i wasn't liking the yellow with everything so i thought well what if we go green and then i found these couches and i think that looks really nice it goes nicely with the gray i got rid of the blue chairs because we're going to get do away with that so we'll paint the rest of the kitchen the green oh we should put a carpet in oh wait wait i should just finish what i'm doing hackers settle down let's just get rid of this paint um because i started painting over the yellow to see what this would look like yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. This is gonna look nice and it still kind of all goes together. It'll be fine, it'll be good, but we need a carpet. You know what, this one would probably be actually perfect. <gasps> yes, me likey. Except that, that chair is gonna have to move over. That looks not bad. And then I turned the table, got rid of the chairs. This I can live with. So that means, I wonder if there's a green basis, because then I could sort of incorporate that color a little bit more. There's this one, and that's probably as close of a green as we're gonna get. Yeah, we'll incorporate some more green somewhere in the shelf to kind of get it to all tie together a little bit, just a little splash here and there. I like this a lot bit better. This is coming together, there was just uh, I don't know the gray with the black it was too much and I didn't want to get into another color on the wall so let me paint up the rest of this kitchen and then we will put some lights we'll figure out some lights for the living room maybe we'll finish off the flooring and then next time we'll finish off the kitchen and the entry so let me get this painting done so that I can stop looking at these god-awful walls all right, so kitchen is painted up. Of course, I'm going to get rid of all these cupboards eventually. So let's see what we can find for... Well, we already did lights. So what am I talking about? I forgot we put the halogens in. Let's see. What else could we... I wanted to see what other greens they had. Do they have green in this? They don't. I'm surprised, actually. Eventually, we'll put a clock in the kitchen. But I do want to still try and find a coffee table. I think this should be all right in here. It kind of blends with the floor. Yeah, I think that should be all right. It's a little bit oranger than the pillars are. But I still don't think the white tile looked bad, too. But yeah, it's not too bad. Just some of these wood colors. I'm really picky about wood colors. You guys, I'm changing the coffee table. I'm piecing together these ones because I can't find a corner coffee table that matches, but they have this kind of stool. 
So I thought that could kind of fill in that corner a little bit. I'm hoping that I can put a plant on there or something. I want a really big bushy one. Well, this comes in green. Is that too bright? Oh, I can't put it on there. Darn. Is that just because it's a floor plant? Like, could I put something like this on it? Oh, darn. So you can only sit on that thing, I guess. Oh, that kind of bites. I wanted like a nice plant on there. I thought I could sort of use it as a, a table. Well, I don't mind these tables with it because it kind of matches the door. I'm just a little disappointed about this corner thing. So we'll think on that. Geez, I wish you could change the color of some of this stuff a little bit more than you can. Oh, well. But I do think I'm gonna change, like I might, I might keep a few of these blue ones, but I like this vase with it because it has some of the, sort of the bluey color from this room and the green color from this room. So I think it could tie together everything really nicely. Gosh, this would have been such an amazing wall for like a fireplace, right in the middle. That would have been so cool. Especially if we could have had these shelves built in, just moved over maybe one and had a fireplace right in the middle. Aww, sad face. I'm gonna buy some more of these and see what I can do with this cabinet. Well, I added a few of the green in there, kind of randomly, or tried to make it random. I might add a few more things, but we'll see. That That's pretty, pretty good. I, I found another box that comes in gray. I'm kind of wondering what that might look like too. That's really actually quite pretty. It's a little bit brighter than those other brown boxes. So it could be something that we either incorporate or replace the other ones with. But let's just throw a few in and let's have a look and see what they look like before we commit too much here. Yeah, we'll see. We'll play around with that. I do like the, that green base, though. I think that really kind of adds a little bit of a pop of color. I put a couple more plants in. So what we need now is just some more decorations, some pictures. I think I'll probably get rid of that one entirely. Uh, ooh, that would actually be quite nice in here. Uh, let me look through these and see what I can find, guys. I thought I might as well go up, go ahead and put some curtains up and see what that looks like. So I'm trying the brown. I'm hoping it will look okay with the floor. And then we'll probably put some blinds in here too. But it does, yeah, it kind of matches with the floor and stuff. So I think that definitely adds something actually. I put these uh, pictures up. I'm just thinking I should move over now that I have the curtains on. Yeah, that looks nice. We definitely got to get rid of this haunted picture. Bye. And we'll see if we can find another one that um, has that dark frame that's maybe a little bit bigger. It's a nice size for there. Definitely has the browns going for it. I was hoping for a little bit more of the green. Oh, that's not bad. It doesn't have the brown frame, but it has a lot of the other. I like that actually. Yeah, yeah, I do like that. Okay, cool. Man, it sure makes a difference when you start playing around with pictures. Holy, um, I was starting to panic a little bit about this room. That's actually not too bad either. Mm, that one would be, it's just such a different style and I know we use this one a lot, but it's a nice size for there. Let's have a look. Oh, that's not too bad. You guys, I think I like the way this is turning out. It's not too shabby. Like I said, given what we are given, <laughs> uh, it's it's coming along. And I'm really happy that we went with the green. I'm really liking that with the blues and the browns. It's looking good. I do wish, again, they had a darker curtain because those have a bit of an orange tinge to them but like I said we have what we have to work with so we can put a nice fern in the middle I doubt we can put any books or anything on that stool sadly that's some green boxes too but they're a little bit of a different green 
can always put maybe some candles, but I don't think they have much for color. Just go on that table already. Well, I'm just popping up some blinds. That should kind of finish this room. I wonder if I have to disclose that I think this house is haunted. <laughs> when I go to sell it. No, I'm kind of liking that. I'm liking it. It doesn't have, like, I feel like I wanted to have a little bit more of the blue in here. I'm not sure if I can sort of incorporate it a little bit more, maybe with a different painting. Well, I made a couple more of those little custom prints in these water picture, waterfall pictures that I had downloaded. So it kind of has some of the browns and a little bit more of the blue. So I'm hoping it kind of just looks a little bit nicer in here than the other two I had over here. So I just kind of switched those out. This one I wish was a little bit brighter now, but ah, it's good. Oh my goodness, it's good enough. Yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it for this room. Like I said, I might fool around with the layout of this, but I think it's pretty good. I mean, oh, I could fuss with this all day. Um, okay, yeah, so we got curtains, we got lights, we got furniture, we got plants. I can't think of anything else that this would need. I like it. I like the way it turned out. And then it'll look that much better when we get the rest of the house done. Um, we will sell these cabinets next time and probably do kind of a combination of the kitchen and front entry. This will be mostly decorating. I did do this wall gray. It may not stay gray, but I just thought maybe to try and incorporate some of the same colors into the kitchen since, yeah, sort of a, I think that would look good. It just depends on what kind of, um, cupboard I end up putting up there. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to use this. I know it's called a dresser, but it comes in gray. And I really like the look of it. Well, it comes in steel, I guess. So I don't know if that's going to do much against a gray wall is what I'm thinking. But it sort of looks kitchen-y to me. Not sure. Not sure. I think there's another one that looks wood. But we will work on the kitchen and everything else next time. How's everything in here? No pictures have fallen down? Everything looks okay in here. Maybe the ghosts have vacated the building. I don't know. We'll come back. We'll see if this cupboard's open again. Anyway, guys, I'm kind of liking this. There's certain things that I wish I had that I don't. Uh, like these curtains, I wish they could be a little bit darker to match like the dark parts of the wood. But... And I wish there was a black coffee table because that would tie in with that a little bit more. But you know, all in all, it's it's good. I can kind of see what Sirius means about this being maybe white, but I really don't want to move all that stuff. Really don't. But I really do, like I am really happy with the way this turned out. I like that this looks a little bit like it's built in and yet it's still like a wall divider, but sort of open. It gives it a nice and open feeling. So. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it. I might fiddle around with these decorations a little bit, but I think it's pretty close anyway. So, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me again. And like I said, I probably won't see your comments on this one before I get the other one recorded, but we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye.